We are back, friends. We got some smoke trues and the scores one and over Steve Angelo. I did miss the black and white game because I was recording the the OE Circuit Finals, and OE Circuit Finals is gonna have another best of three because Rob was able to win. <laughs> And yeah, we have the Aris game here. Porsche decided to pick Aris now. I'm not sure when I'm gonna be uploading this or if I will ask Porsche to like post commentators games. But he goes for T Wave, he has the good move on deck. He's natural Q Stami, so he didn't care if he would have gotten uh, synchronized, paralyzed from the Mew. But let me look a bit more into the teams. If it's HP Fire and um, Metagross, it's a big threat. Even though Steve Angelo can still check it with the Starmie. He puts the talent on the bat, so we see it's probably Rocky Helmet Tangros. Yeah, this is a T. I think this looks like a Jamets team. The team that Steve Angelo has. I think there was a Tita in that spot or something in, in that spot of the Mew. And I hope this game doesn't take too long. So I can record PokeTCG. <laughs> I cannot speak. So I can record PokeTCG game versus Finding True Love. The second best of three. Yeah, this is a free U-turn for Scizor. I don't know if Knockoff was the play there. But he does stay in since he's fist up. So, I think he will go for Knockoff again, breaking the switch. Nice play. Oh yeah, yeah. Helmet. Tangrowth, I think they carry HP fire a lot of times, so definitely it's kind of funny how it checks Mega Scissor because, like, you, you turn it super effective versus it, but it just eats it up. He gets in the, um, the meta growth, and yeah, if it has the correct coverage, it goes in. But to be honest, the Mew can check it fine. The Scissor can check it if it's not HP fire. And he maybe predicted the Starmie there. But he basically has like these three months to check Metagross, like I've never seen a team with that many Metagross checks, like what? <laughs> and yeah, this is Toxic Trend, I was thinking if it could be um, a Solar Beam set with Power Herb, but it's probably not. Okay, so it's, it's rocks. Um, assume that the Clefable is gonna be from Call Mind set. Uh, you can just spam Stealth Rocket. It's a really cool play from partial side because the the poison damage will rack up with the time. And now he even has to take helmet and poison. His time is gonna be low. And he can basically double out the upgrade in the Talon Flame slash slash Scizor. Did he double out? I know he trying to get some leftovers, so he break the talent from slash scissor, but he went into Landers <laughs> instead. Which was kind of risky because he could have. I mean, if, he, if Tangros went for knockoff, you know, probably would have gotten rid of the Rocky helmet. So that's. I guess that's not that bad for Porsche if the helmet gets knocked off. Uh, for Steve Angelo. Man, I'm mixing up names and everything because I didn't sleep enough last night. Like. I've been on the grind for you guys to get all the content. <laughs> yeah, I assume he's just gonna either burn a sleep turn here or double up in the heat turn. Okay, he goes on the star and he said that didn't really work out for Steve Angelo. 
I think I would have scalded there because yeah, this, the U-turn is kind of. I mean, getting rid of the rocks is obviously nice, but the stamina is super low. So if the rocks go up again, he's gonna have a tough time spinning. He might actually die to Rocky Helmet. Like he should get another round of left over so he should be like 17 or 16 percent. Knowing Shodan it should be at 16 because it rounds down sometimes. And Rocky Helmet? Um, I don't remember if it is 16 percent but I think it does something along those lines. Oh, 1.6 okay I think it's 16.66 but I'm not sure. So this dummy should probably die if it spins at the health it's at at the moment if the Lando gets at the rocks again ever this dummy can't spin it before it gets more health. But yeah Parsha will um, try to play that the rocks don't go back up. He's probably gonna go superior here. And <laughs> I assume this is sub seed superior. Like superior puts in a lot of work here. I don't know why it's <laughs> taking so long. But he goes in the scissor. Okay, that's interesting. Oh, maybe he has pursued on the scissor. Yeah, that's 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 another option I didn't think about. So if he's pursued and says that he can remove the spinner and then if he gets up the rocks again they're here to stay. So that's kinda clean. But he just goes for U-turn. We're gonna see uh yeah. Oh I thought he would go Talon Flame. But yeah, he decides to get the rocks back up. Because even if Pasha went hard in the army there. If he spawned, like he, Steve Angelo could have just spammed rocks. But um, there would have been a 50 50 potentially, because if you get the stamina and the Lanners, you could for recover, but then Steve Angelo to spam rocks. And then he would have been healthy enough to spin again. But yeah, it was still in Steve's favor. If he gets the burn this time he dies, he doesn't get the burn. Wait, this is offensive stamina? No, it's, it's just gold. Didn't get knocked off yet, it's like. Cobra Berry. It's gonna go for Toxic here. Oh, Lava Plume, okay. No burn. There's a Toxic, I probably have gone for Toxic last turn. <laughs> Steve, lucky as fuck. <laughs> OMG. I mean, if there's a Clefable, there's a way. I think this is Calm Mind and either T Wave or Knock Off in the last slot. Oh, Flamethrower is another option, yeah, that's, sh that's for sure. Really nice play going Landers on the T Wave. I think this is Scarf Landers and it's gonna U turn. Take some helmet damage and huh? He can go meta growth here, but doesn't really do much for him because he just takes ha rocks and Steve has a free switch in his sizzle. So yeah, these rocks are coming um, through for Steve. They're putting in the work. It's not looking too well or partial. Let me see if the. I missed the Rob game. No, it didn't start yet. Okay, nice. So I really hope that this game will end in like the next five minutes. It'd be really annoying if I missed the Rob game. I mean, Tangros or Clefable are the other options here. Okay, goes Tangrowth, and the Talonflame is already asleep, so this is this is a free hard scissor for Steve Angelo. I wouldn't want to take Rocky Helmet with the Landras. I 
I don't know this is still nice to take like a Moonblast from Clefable. Yeah, exactly. God Heart Talon from it's also a fine play. Yeah, Porsche makes a double breaking scissor slash Talon play nice play. And Talonflame gets the first turn wake there. Uh, actually, was it the first turn wake? I didn't pay attention how many we got knocked off earlier. How many turns? Let me see, it's fast asleep. I mean, he's just gonna try to get some leftovers here while the talent flame is going for roost. But the Hedron is probably gonna lose one on one. He's fast asleep. Okay, so. I think that was not a, yeah that was like a second turn rig. like it was the third turn that he woke up but I think yeah the first turn is guaranteed so he couldn't have woken up there so it's bulk up talent flame and this pretty much just wins the game if he doesn't get a t um, thunder punch para here Steve Angelo doesn't necessarily have to risk it but on the other side I mean his safest play would be going into Landorus because um, Porsche has to thunder punch here. Porsche can also go back to Heatrim, but I don't think it does anything for him. Because he will just get taunted again. A key punch! Crit or para legs play. A dodger will always. Bulk up Talon is so cool, I missed this one. I loved using it in Auras. It got nerfed, like, without gaming. Man, Talonflame would be such a cool wall corona check too. It would be annoying because you had have to run reliable hazard control, but still. Talonflame is gold. Gen 6. Like, I'm pretty sure Porsche can't afford to click anything besides Thunder Punch. Yeah, Steve is taking his time. Actually, yeah, both still didn't make them move. So he did make play it safe there. Goes for Hammer, which is a wild play. I would have never made that play. In the face of a plus one talent flame, I would have clicked that Thunder Punch every day of the week. But Porsche was wild, and this is what's gonna roost here. Which is understandable, because it's like... It's one of his best Metagross checks, um, I don't think it has HP fire, yeah, at this point basically, I think we saw a T-Punch, did we see T-Punch? We saw Hammer Arm and what else did we saw? yeah we saw T-Punch, did we see, yes. there was like wrong English there the same, for a second, see, we saw T-Punch and Hammer Arm, okay. Okay, so the Stami is gonna take a lot from the drain but yeah probably gonna live it is what I was gonna say because it's uh, Tamar is not that strong it's only Giga drain and Landers can even live that like he can even take two of that I'm gonna pivot into Scythar or Talonflames okay Talonflame mm, he can swallow the willow with spear but he just puts the Scythar to sleep which I don't know if I would have put the scissor to sleep, maybe I would have put something else to bat. Or uh, maybe I would have put the Landris to sleep there. Yes, does he really need the Landris? <laughs> then we're gonna chat, why wasn't that click two turns ago? I call like JK JK. That was probably like a ghosting joke. I mean, he has a free talent flame here, and even if Porsche predicts him, okay, because the Mew. <laughs> yeah, Porsche did go Landers, potentially predicting the talent flame. He doesn't want to let the Mew get knocked off, so that's why he switches out, and like he just gives the Landers the helmet chip if it goes for you to a knockoff. Um, Stami is gonna be forced to go for Skull here, because if it goes for Rapid Spin, it dies to Rocky Helmet, or did he knock off the helmet? No, he didn't. So he has to scald here. If he breaks the switch, he can go for recover. I don't think he gains much from that, so he probably just scald. I mean, it's just looking bad for Porsche because he has rocks on his side. 
and Steve basically has just good checks to his team, like he keeps everything in check as long. Metagross's way of beating his checks is like getting hacks. <laughs> so like, he could have paired the scissor earlier. That would have been uh, yeah one uh, one way that Porsche could win this. Um, then the bulk up talent flame is scary. I can understand that he didn't want to risk it, but like. He did go hard into. Okay, he goes superior. Does he get burned? No burn. The crit doesn't really matter. It's more important that he avoids the burn here. Like, that's pretty good for Steve. Um, yeah, I'm kind of struggling who I'm rooting for because. Yeah, like the one guy, Steve is German, and the other guy I recorded with. Oh, well, like, I, I know him a bit. Yeah, yeah, I know him. I don't know why I said a bit, I know him. <laughs> Oh I, yeah, that's also. Mm -hmm. Last time I put Spanish music and Porsche was dominating. This time I didn't put Spanish music. <laughs> Wait, the dirt is watching the. Wait, why am I not on the call? By the way, I should join the call on Skype. So Porsche was going for the parrot and didn't get it. Did not get the para and he's gonna throw up the Stellar Frogs here. If he breaks the storm, he can also go for to uh, for Lava Plume. But I think it's the it should kill at 70%, right? Yeah, yeah, like Zemo said in the chat. I just wanna know if Talent Flame is dying. I mean, it, ha it has to get hacks, basically, which is... Like, he did switch out the Talent Flame earlier. But he switched into Scissor, so he still could have gotten paralyzed. Like, he switched from something that could have gotten paralyzed into something that could have gotten paralyzed on a potential T punch. So, like I said earlier, I would have gone Landris probably there. Um. Yeah, he's gonna sack off the Landris to get some helmet chip damage, but now we can afford to pivot into Mew, I think, and keep this as far. Or, I, okay, that, that works out. I mean, Steve didn't really need this Landris. He could have still kept it at Forda and gone to Mew first. But yeah, Mew's just gonna click knock off left and right of Lewis first. Okay, I thought he would knock off. But it's understandable that Porsche doesn't wanna go hard trend. Because he has 43%. And Mew has gunk shot and misses, which sucks a lot. My lord! What is this? So you are packing some fire sets. Leftovers gunk shot Mew. Man's putting the dash in the chat. And Padlop also putting a dash. <laughs> Earthquake, Gong Shot, Mew, get me out of here with a lord. Yeah, I kinda regret that I didn't record game one. This is interesting. <laughs> like, Steve Angelo always had the wild sets that no one expects. I'm so hyped for World Cup, man. To record those games. I might not sound hyped because I'm super tired, but. Trust me, I'm hyped. I mean, he's just gonna click U-turn here, it doesn't lose anything. Stami's pretty low, but it still gets the spin. It still gets the spin versus something like Clefable. Then again, uh, it doesn't really get the spin, because... Nah, it doesn't get the spin. He has to predict the Tangrowth to come in and go for Recover to get the spin off. Because if he goes for spin after he comes in on rocks, he's at 6% and then he dies to Helmet. I don't think the Helmet got knocked off yet, did it? I think he just whipped the Tangrowth earlier. Yeah, he didn't knock it off. Yeah, this Mew didn't show knock off, yeah. The last move's probably uh, Softball. Jesse was thinking here, which is understandable. Because, like... Porsche's play is pretty straightforward, he just clicks U-turn, but st um, Steve kind of has to think he what's the optimal play, I can understand that. Oh yeah, the, the Bengay versus 
Alexander game is probably tomorrow on Tuesday. Which is a bit sad, I want to see it today, but on the other side I'm so tired. Just go into the superior decides it's paralyzed, it's not gonna do too much. Um, yeah, which is kind which is understandable for sure. I mean if there's one one that can bring this back, it's Clefable with T Wave, but the thing is if he plays it well, he gets off the spin with Starmie later on. And Talonflame just dominates from there. But yeah, he's just going for a game with Kwaman and he gets the dodge there, so it begins. It begins. Pokemon says, nope. I'm getting this hacked. Okay, that did absolutely nothing. And he's just gonna Moonblast. Or he can Kwaman again going for dodge. Uh, going for para, I mean. But yeah, just Moonblast. And if Talonflame comes in, it's super low and would be forced to Roost, probably. Which would give the Clef another Calm Mind. He does decide to go into Starmie. Um, if he goes hard into Tangrowth, he can kill the Starmie with a Spin Block. Like, if the Starmie goes for Spin and he goes into Helmet Tangrowth, he can kill the Starmie. Um, it's kind of risky for Steve, but I could, I could see him going for Recover. But it's really risky. I mean, on the other side, if he spins and he switches out into Tangrowth, Clefable loses the the boost that it already has, and like, it's hard for Clefable to set up again. Cause the Mew has the Mew has Gunk Shot, yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't really set up again, so he decides to make the spin blocking play. And oh my lord, Porsche, the Steve Angel, the God, man, I can't really talk. Did go for recover, breaking the switch. <laughs> Dude, if he Moonblasted there, I would've been in such a good position. Maybe this time he would've been able to live a plus to Moonblast, but I cannot doubt it. Now, Intelligent goes for Bulk Up. Okay, Roots first. Uh, Marius has to go for Hex now, that's the... <laughs> I mean, you can get a lot of sleep turns. This is a 2 KO actually, well, there's no wake up. Scizor gets sacked off, but now the Talent Limit speeds the Metagross. And as long as it hits the will o -Wisp, he's fine here. But he goes for Bulk Up first, not wanting to miss a risk a miss. But on the other side, he can risk a crit or he can get para. So Steve is playing with fire here. Wait, 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 wait. He just sacked it. What? Wait, what? He just fought. What happened? What? Why did he not roost? What? Let me pause real quick. I'll get people on call and see what's up. Roost! You have to go for the roost. Dude, I was about what? to say that. Didn't Porsche win 100%? Like, if he didn't get parried? Yes. I don't get that. Wait, what, what, do you, what do you mean if he didn't get parried? Yo! I mean, Angela uh, won. Um, um alright. Yeah. Listen, oh, right. you roost? Yeah, for game three. Oh, I, I only recorded game two, by the way. I didn't record game one because I was recording um, circuit finals. But yeah, maybe the Porsche will post comment later. We'll see. He kind of Steve, Steve, like I'm just praying that Steve does not bring stall. I mean, curse class like, doesn't work anymore like, because the tongue is banned. Wait, wait, wait. Did they play Oras? Uh. They played black, white, okay, first, black and white. Okay, black and white. Black and white. He won because of because of roll, and that was like, um, that was like almost like completely in Pasha's favor. I like, didn't see the black it was a five percent chance that uh, like Steve would have would have won that game. 